Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm gonna make a really sweet candy cane wreath. What you need, echo mesh, I have solid red and then I have red and white stripe. I have this cute peppermint, <laughs> peppermint uh, ribbon. And I have red glitter Chanel stems and a candy cane ring. All of these items were purchased at the dollar store minus the ribbon, but they definitely have ribbon that you can purchase there. So this entire wreath can be made for less than $10. Very simple and easy. We're gonna go ahead and get started. Gonna take the red deco mesh, just start in the bottom corner. I'm going to tie it in a knot. So a simple knot, just like that. And you can just cut off any the excess, doesn't matter. Okay, nice and tight. And then, I'm going to pull it through the first two rings, just like that. And then right here, you can decide however high you want it, but just make sure they're uh, uniform. So I'm gonna pull it through the second one. If they're not exactly the same, it's not a huge deal, but you want them pretty, pretty close. So that's my second one. And push it through the third one. Just like that. Then I'm going to scrunch it. So I just scrunched it. And then at the bottom, I'm going to twist it a couple of times. And this deco mesh does stick to itself, so just be very careful. And then I, after I twist it a couple of times, I'm going to come back and do the same thing over again. So I'm just taking my fingers and pushing it through. Just like that. Then I push it through a second time. Again, I'm trying to keep all of the loops the same size or close to the same size. And then the third time. Just like that. Really cute already and we're just getting started. So I'm making two rows in each section. So this section is going to have two and this next section and each section is going to have two. You can squeeze a third one in there if you'd like, or you can just do one. This is completely up to you. All right, so I'm going to twist a couple of times. And then come back and do the exact same thing over again. Pull it through the first loop. The hardest part is going to be keeping the deco mesh straight. <laughs> Pull it through the second. Pull it through the third, just like that. Push it over to scrunch it. Twist the bottom a couple of times. All, right, all over again. This is what the back looks like and the front. Okay, I'm just gonna keep on going until I'm completely done with the entire cane. So when you get to the end of your deco mesh, all you have to do, several options. The easiest just is to tie it in a knot, just somewhere in the middle, so it's not visible. I'm just gonna tie it right here in the middle of this next ring. Tie it just like that. Just like that. And then cut off the excess. And then when you start the next round of deco mesh, you're gonna start it the same way. Tie it in a knot right here, and then go all the way around. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. All right, so the entire candy cane is done. Very cute. Now I'm just gonna add little extra touches. So I'm going to take my Chanel stems, and I only need six because there are only six cross rings throughout the candy cane, and those are the rings that I'm going to use. So the six Chanel stems. I cut the um, red and white striped deco mesh into eight inch long pieces. So 
I have 12 pieces of the 8 inch long deco mesh. Then I cut the ribbon into about 4 or 5 inch pieces and I have 12 of those. So 12 pieces of ribbon, 12 pieces of deco mesh, and 6 Chanel stems. You're going to take the deco mesh, roll it, take another piece, roll it, crisscross them, take two pieces of ribbon, and actually you know what, I think I want to ribbon cut the ribbon. So for a ribbon cut, you just fold it in half, open ends on the bottom, the fold on the top, and cut at a diagonal, just like that. So I'll take the two pieces of deco mesh and two pieces of ribbon. Again, if you want to do only deco mesh, you can. If you want to do only ribbon, you can do that as well. And I'm just scrunching it all together. Take the Chanel stem and scrunch it and twist it all together a couple of times. And once you twist it, you can adjust it some more. Adjust it just a little bit more. Okay, just like that. I'm going to add it to the wreath on the cross wire right there. The two inner rings. And I'm just looping it around. I'm actually not going to twist it, twist tie it to the back. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So I looped it around, and you see both of the Chanel stems are right here. I just looped one side around the ring. I've come back around to the top. And because these are just so cute. I want to show the Chanel stems, the glitter red Chanel stems. So that's why I only looped it around. If you have Chanel stems that you don't want to show, you just tie it around and twist it on the back. But, like I said, these are so cute. So I'm actually going to bring them back up. So... I'm just adjusting it. So that I can roll them. And you can use anything, a pencil, I'm just using scissors. Just to give it the cute coal effect. Just like that. Then I'm going to do the entire process again and twist it a couple of times. Then you can adjust it as necessary. Find the next cross ring, which is right here, and do the same thing. I'm looping it around the two inner rings and I'm bringing it back out again. If you want to just tie it from the back and not show the Chanel stems, you can definitely do that. All right. So, looping it around so the end is right here. I'm just adjusting it. Adjusting it so that it's secure. And rolling it. Scissors or pen or anything that will work. Just like that. So I'm going to do this for all six cross rings. This is what it's looking like so far.
very cute very sweet so that is what it looks like really cute candy candy you can make a couple in line like a fireplace or the side of your house so many different things you can do with this. All items were purchased from the dollar store except for the ribbon. I used about two rolls of the red deco mesh and half a roll of the striped deco mesh. The entire peppermint candy cane can be made for less than ten dollars. So about six or seven dollars. That is awesome. Very cute. 